What is up, YouTube? That's it here, bringing you a Pokemon VGC battle of a new team I'm testing for the upcoming Spring 2014 VGC season. In this team, I'm going to be on the left-hand side using Salamence, Gudra, Rotom, and Kangaskhan. You may be wondering why I'm using a Salamence and a Gudra in a team, but even though they have the same type of weaknesses and they have a lot of common weaknesses, it's something I've been working on. Habanberry, Gudra, Choice Scarf, Salamence. A little bit standard meta with the Choice Scarf Salamence and a little bit anti-meta with the Gudra. They, they mix well together, and in this game I'm going to try and show them off to the best of my abilities. I'm fighting off against another double dragon combo of Salamence, Garchomp, a great dragon counter in Mawile, and another dragon counter in Rotom. Rotom is considered a dragon counter because it can bull with the physical attackers and has the special bulk to be able to wall out the special attacker dragons. So, for the most part, this guy's team really counters mine, and I thought it was just a really cool battle I played on stream a little while ago, testing my VGC 2014 team, so I thought I would bring it to you guys and upload it for you all to enjoy. So, let's we'll just hop right into the battle. Not gonna lie, it starts off kind of slow and not really in my favor, but let's just see how it goes. It's gonna be a Japanese person named Yu that I'm fighting against, and he's gonna be leading off with... Mawile Rotom. So right off the bat, like I can't really do anything. Both my dragons are pretty much countered right off the bat. I get intimidated off on the Mawile, but in reality, like it's pretty useless considering like he could still one shot both my dragons with a player if one of reveals like it. And he gets intimidated off on me too, but it, it's like that's really useful. I have two special attackers out. So he's gonna withdraw his Rotom first turn, going into his his Salamence. Now I really think I could have got away with attacking that Rotom. I was really thinking about dragon pulsing it. But I was like, nah, I don't need a Dragon Pulse, it's fine. So he goes, also goes for a Protect with his Mawile. So the first turn literally sucks for me, because I try to nuke the Mawile and go for a Double Flamethrower. So that that really did not work. That strategy was the, the wrong strategy. First turn, nothing happened, and I could have really gotten a, a free Pokemon kill off of it. So he decides to go into his Mega Mawile, and he goes for a Draco with his Salamence. And his Salamence wins... Over my Salamence is he also is using a Scarf Salamence. The only difference between his Salamence and my Salamence is that my Salamence is full HP, full special attack, and his is probably full speed, full special attack. So it's a sacrifice that I have to make considering this is something I'm testing. I know that it's more standard to use full uh, special attack and speed, but I think I want to be a little bit greedy and go for the, the speed, or sorry, for the HP and the special attack. Anyways, I kill the Salamence with a. Uh, the Draco for my Gudra, but then my Gudra dies to a player from the Mawile. So right off the bat, I traded really inefficiently. I could have probably gotten a kill on the Mawile. Not really a kill. I could have flamethrowered it and try and got some burn damage in because the Salamence was already... It was scarfed, but it had a plus two or a minus two stat reduction from the Draco. So that was really bad. I could have probably handled that a lot better. I go into my Rotom and my Kangas and my two last Pokemon. He decides to switch out his Mawile and go into his... So he chose his last Pokemon. It's going to be his Rotom again. So... I'm mega evolving here, but in reality, like, I'm still boned. Like, <laughs> I'm double countered again. I don't really want to hit Garchomp because he probably has a Rocky Helmet and, uh, and uh, Rough Skin, and I don't really want to hit Rotom because it won't do anything either. He decides to go for a Protect with his Garchomp, which is smart here, and I decided to go for a Power Punch, which was on originally his Mawile. So, I get the Power Punch, and this is my one, like, saving grace to get back into the game. And I don't remember what my Rotom does. My Rotom's going to go for a Will of Wisp. Yeah, it was, uh, it was targeting the Garchomp. So his Garchomp starts on the second turn, it's going to Dragon Claw my Rotom, do a nice chunk of damage, assuming he's probably going to get Will of Wisp anyways, and I go for a return on the his Rotom, and it's going to get a kill. So he never got a chance to activate his Citrus Berry, which is amazing, and it's just what I need to get back into the game. My Rotom's going to go for a Will of Wisp, and it is going to burn his Garchomp. So now we're down to the last two Pokemon, he has a burned Garchomp and a full health Mawile, versus my Rotom and my Kangaskhan. So you'd think I'd be like getting back to the game, but like right now I'm like barely even. Even though I have like a plus two and he has a burn Pokemon. He goes for a rock side. It's going to miss on my Rotom, which is actually pretty cool. And I get a return off onto his Garchomp, I think. So I'm going to get to kill his Garchomp this turn. We're going to see his Rough Skin. And I think his Rocky Helmet. Yeah, there's the Rocky Helmet. So I take decent damage from that. But it was something that had to be done. I just had to kill it. And I go for a will wisp with my Rotom and I miss. And I was like, are you kidding me? All this work to get back in this game and I miss a will wisp onto his Mawile. So my is going to take up my Kangaskhan, and I'm like, no, I tried so hard to get back into this game. So I try for another will wisp and I miss a freaking gen. And then he misses, and I'm like, what is happening, all these misses? Finally, I hit a will wisp and I could just have a sigh of relief. But it's still, I'm still not out of the woods yet. I've already taken a Dragon Claw from a Garchomp, and now a player from a Burn Mawile. I'm really starting to rack on the damage. I get to proc my Citrus Berry to go about 30% up in health, barely in the green. 
and he's still technically at like full. I decided this is going to be a long game. I got to wall him out. Okay, go for the protect to get that burn damage going. So he's going to go for the player five. It's going to miss because I protected, and he's going to take that residual burn damage that happens at the end of the turn. And now I just have to go for Thunderbolt. I could go for Hydro Pumps, but I just can't miss right now. I just can't miss. Gotta go for those Thunderbolt. He goes for a player off. It's obviously gonna hit, that's fine. And it doesn't kill, it does about half. And knowing that the player off only did that much makes me realize I probably have this. I go for Protect one last time, because if he had Sword Stance, he would have probably already used it. And he goes for a Sucker Punch. So I realize he's probably gonna go for a Sucker Punch again now. Unless this Sucker Punch crits, I win. So he goes for the all along weighted Sucker Punch and. It doesn't crit. So I get a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's going to finish off this small while. And oh man, I was so happy to win this game. I was boned every turn of the game up until my King's Gun got that power punch off. So it was a really fun battle I played a few days ago testing out my team. I still like the full speed, full special attack on Salamence. I don't know if I want to keep it that way, but it definitely works in most matchups. Of course, he loses mirror matchup to other Salamence and other choice craft Pokemon. But for the most part, like I'm faster than Garchomp. I'm faster than Salamence regularly, I'm faster than a lot of other Pokemon. So he's a great revenge killer, as great as well as a great lead. I don't recommend pairing him with a Gudra. But anyways, thank you guys for watching the battle. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.